I was praying the other day and I was asking the Lord, what is it about black men that makes them, have brought them to this point of extinction where they cannot compete on a global scale? What is it about them? And God says they have no honor. Now, there's several things that we need to understand. And here's how God illuminated that fact to me. God says, what do you think would cause a man to go into his mother's pocketbook, take his mother's mama's, take his mama's last money? She don't have, he will not leave her token money to get on the train to go to the job to get more money or go to the bank. What would cause a full grown man to go in his mama's pocketbook and take her last money and shoot dope? What would cause a man to do that? Why would any man do that? Why? He will do it not because he's on drugs. That's the reason he will stay. But the reason why a man can go into his mother's pocketbook and take her last quarter and shoot dope with it is because he has no honor. Because even if you're racked by the pains of another fix, you want to get high, you got a need, and your body is suffering, honor will stop you from taking your mama's last money. Honor. Honor. If a man has honor of integrity about who he is and what he is, he will not take. He would rather suffer himself rather than to put his mama out in the cold to suffer. He will endure the pain of his own afflictions and drug addiction. But if he has no honor, he'll do it time and time and time again. He will continue to do it. Doesn't have honor. We got to restore honor back to black folk. They have no honor no integrity. They're not honorable people. That's why you're going to call me the honorable James David Madden. I know you got trouble with it. I know you don't like it. I know you want me to call, be called bishop and doctor and rabbit foot and all of that, but you are going to say honorable because I'm going to lead you to be honorable as people. You're going to be an honorable people. You're going to be restored back to honor. So we need to be clear about that as God is speaking in this generation. How can a man, young boy, use all those ugly words and his 37 year old mama sit down in the new house he bought her and just grin while he is saying MF and this and that and the other. <laughs> you mean to tell me you can listen to your son curse like that on a national scale, and just because he's bought you a new house, you are not offended by the things he said. What does that house do to you when your son has lost his soul? How do you speak to him at the Thanksgiving table when he curses that way? You have no honor, black woman. You have no honor to allow your son to curse like that just because he can buy you a new house. I'd rather live in a shanty but have an honorable son. What is it with y'all? Can you see why God has ordered your demise? Well, he bought me a new car. He's grabbing his crotch. That's your baby. That's your boy. You brought him forth. You carried him for nine months. And now look at what he is doing to women. Don't you remember how his father walked out on you and left you to feed that baby and to buy pampers and to make it the best way you could? Day after day, you had no money. You had to kiss and spit in that baby's mouth to feed him. And now he is promoting that. How can you stand by mothers and allow your sons to rap? How can you do it? How can you do it? So the Nile River Project will be, we have to restore honor. The last thing that is thought of when you mention an African person, and especially an African American, is that he's honorable. That's the last thing. That's the last thing that you think about. 
they're the most dishonorable people that you can find. 